Good morning from Indianapolis. We are here. You can see behind us all roads lead to revival. So I'm super excited. So it's Wednesday, check-in day, first day of the Congress. I've seen Sister Alicia Torres already from The Pulse. I've seen Father Daniel Williamson, one of our own uh, Franciscan Friars of the Revival and the Oakland Diocese. So just uh, ready to just start a five-day revival. We just had Mass with a Eucharistic Adoration now um, and continuing until the closing on Sunday when we are sent on commission to just continue to spread the good news of our Lord. I am reporting here from Indianapolis and I look forward to sharing more in the days to come. God bless. Hey, St. Joseph parishioners of Mission San Jose, Shrine of St. Joseph. I'm here with Tanner, and remember when we watched the Jesus in the Eucharist series, this man is responsible for that. I just I want to invite you, Tanner, just to um, say a few words to our parishioners, please. Yeah, ab absolutely. Well, our, our great partners at the Augustine Institute are responsible for that fantastic series. I just kind of help compile the testimonies. We little lad on the totem pole there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. We're here at the National Eucharistic Congress. This is a pivotal moment in our church's history, the last National Eucharistic Congress that we had was 83 years ago, and uh, our Lord is moving. We're praying big, and we believe that a huge outpouring of the Holy Spirit is going to grace everyone who's here, and then we're going to go from here out to our parishes in San Jose and Denver, Colorado, where I am, and we're going to help set the world on fire. Amen. Thank yeah. you, Tanner, for your time. God bless you. God bless you guys. All right, Thank you. bye.